Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, we have a lot to get to, so I'm going to jump right into it. We had a trough roll through today that had a little bit more zest to it than we thought. It actually dropped some pretty good snow amounts today. Look at Grassy Butte. Three... 0.6 inches, 3 inches in Kildare. These are the only two numbers that officially came into the National Weather Service. But if you were kind of between Interstate 94 and Highway 200, that's where that axis of heavy snow was. There's a look at the roundabout in Kildare. This was uh, covered over uh, much heavier than what you see here about two hours ago. But the sunshine that has come out has kind of melted some of that wet snow away. But some impressive numbers from this little piece of energy, part of this trough. You can see it's kind of lost a lot of its zip here as it slid on the other side of a Highway 83. But even the Bismarck area, right before we came onto the air, taking a look at the camera outside, heavy, wet, big snowflakes out there just because those temperatures are right you know, within a couple of degrees north or south of the freezing mark, uh, it allows some of that to snowfall there. But it is dying out. So if you're east of Highway 83, you should see that uh, precipitation die off as we go through the evening hours. Temperatures right now, kind of a mixed bag. Warmer behind that trough. Still cooler where that trough hasn't rolled through yet. You can see 37 in Harvey, 35 in Ashley, but 46 in both Dickinson and Beach, 41 up near the Bakken in the Williston area. Here's a look at the winds. They are starting to turn around out of the west and southwest now behind that trough between 5 and 15 miles an hour, and they'll be on the increase over the next 24 hours or so. want to roll through precision cast here. There's, I want to show you our next weather maker here. There's a, a second trough that will be sliding through with that warm front over the next 24 hours here, and that could uh, spark off another round of showers tomorrow especially. And there'll be a cold front behind that. That will slide through and we'll see our winds turn around and gusty winds will be behind that cold front as it continues to blast through the area. Won't, can't roll out a couple of sprinkles though as that front passes through tomorrow afternoon. We'll see how much uh, sunshine we get. Also everybody wants to know about the possibility for snow this weekend. Here's what we know right now. It could be a possible long duration event. What I mean by that is Friday night through Monday, possibly, and it could bring us some accumulations. Uh, again, possibly bring us some accumulations. Big uncertainty in the models, and I want to show you two of them right now. This is the GFS model, the American model. This is Sunday at 9 a.m., and this kind of puts the heaviest axis of snow right over us and uh, between the Bismarck and Minot area. But the European model, much different. Almost no snow for southern areas, light snow across northern areas. So a lot can change between now and when the first flakes possibly start to fly. 34 tonight in the capital city with a couple of sprinkles before 8 o'clock. Light south winds between 3 and 6. No snow in the Magic City. You'll fall to 31 tonight. It will become breezy as that uh, front gets closer, gusting to 20 miles an hour. Lows tonight, most of us will bottom out where we should be, mostly in the upper 20s and low to mid-30s. You can see 34 in the capital city, 29 in Dickinson. Here's your three-day forecast for Dickinson. Much warmer tomorrow, 55 for your Wednesday. Then we cool back off with snow possible. Friday night and into Saturday. Same thing in Williston, 53 tomorrow, and then back toward average numbers as we head toward later in the week. Your extended forecast for the Bismarck area, you can see a nice end of the week, and then there's that chance for that snow starting Friday night and through Monday. About the same thing for the Magic City, guys. A nice end to the week before we watch for that snow and just trying to figure out, is it going to be this much mm -hmm. or this much? We're working on it. Tomorrow looks fantastic. It does. <laughs> Next in our 5 at 5, a quiet scene in many parts of the world. A look at the effects of the coronavirus. Plus, sentencing begins for a man who killed several Girl Scouts. We'll look at how this all came about.